Hi, Maya. We are finally able to have children. You got pregnant? So what? Aren't you happy for us? Isn't it natural since you got married? Well, anyway, I'm sorry to tell you this, but the doctor told me to rest. He says there's a risk of premature delivery. So what? Huh? Pregnancy isn't a disease, so you should be able to do anything. But... Why are you being so spoiled? Grow up! You better be aware of your duty as a wife, you know? I'm aware, but I can't force myself. Still, you can't just slack at your housework. Being pregnant is not an excuse. Lucy, what are you doing every day? When are you going to come to my house? You are always so dull. Can't you act more quickly? You should understand more about your duty as a wife. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm saying, come to my house right now and do the housework. Do the housework? You haven't done anything I ask you to do. I really don't understand what you're talking about. You haven't cleaned the windows, mown the lawn, washed the car. You haven't done anything I ask for. Cleaning windows, mowing the lawn, and washing your car? That's right. You've neglected everything. I can't do that right now. Stop being lazy. If you're my daughter-in-law, you should at least come and cook for me. Well, that's... I can't take it anymore. That's enough. Get over here right now. I can't. Patrick, I'd like to ask you something. Hey, Lucy, what is it? I got a bunch of messages from your mother, and it's a little weird. What's going on? Are you okay? I don't know how to respond. What do you mean? You told her that I'm four months pregnant and that I've been back to my parents' house to have babies, right? Yes, I did. I told her around the time you arrived at your parents' house. My mom would definitely be against you having a baby there instead of here. I told her I'll be away for six months on a business trip to Australia and considering you're pregnant with twins, it's better for you to have babies there where your parents are. I told her just as we planned together. Well, it looks like she's pretending it didn't happen. What? What are you talking about? I'll send you a screenshot of the text your mother sent me today, so you can read it. Okay. What's this? She's telling you to come over to her house to do tons of chores, knowing that you're four months pregnant. She's been pushing me to do it from time to time since we got married. But now that I'm pregnant, I went back to my parents' home to avoid her, you know? But it doesn't seem to matter to her. She said she understood what I told her. I'll explain to her all over again later. Yeah, please. Oh, and if she says anything after this, you don't have to respond at all. You can block her if you want. No, I don't want to block her. You're okay with that? My mom told me. She said that in a case like this, it's better to keep the communication open so that it's easier to know what she's doing. I see. So we shouldn't just shut her out. That's right. Well, my mom doesn't know exactly where your parents live, so I don't think you have to worry about her coming there. 
But I should be prepared just in case, right? Right. But really, I'm sorry about everything. I have never thought that she'd turn into a wife-bullying mother-in-law as soon as I went abroad on a business trip. Patrick. But I remember something. I have a brother three years older than me. Remember? I told you that. Oh yeah, I remember. While you were living in a dormitory in high school, your brother got married. He rented an apartment near your parents' house and went on his honeymoon. And then, six months or so later, he moved out without telling anyone, and your parents lost touch with him. Is that about right? Yeah. But he occasionally texts me to catch up, but he won't tell me where he lives. We just communicate on WhatsApp when necessary. But even that kind of thing, he tells me never to tell my mom or give her any contact information. Hey, is that... Yeah, that's right. Now that I think about it, mom's wife bullying might have gone to his wife. Why don't you ask your brother about it? He might be able to help us if you tell him about our current situation. Yeah, I'll try that. I should be able to go back to the U.S. around the time you're in your last month of pregnancy. But if you need anything before then, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you. Lucy, you really are a useless wife. There is no way you would ask Patrick for help behind my back. What in the world did you say to him that made him so angry? He told me not to let you do my chores, that I should have done them myself in the first place. And all because you used your pregnancy as an excuse not to come over to my house to do my chores. You can go ahead and have the babies back home with your parents, but I won't allow you to skip out on the housework. If you understand, you are going to do the housework tomorrow from morning to night. I'll make you do all the chores this time, even the ones you've skipped. Tomorrow, you must be here by 6 a.m. Patrick, your mother is still the same. I'm in trouble. Huh? Can I send you another screenshot? I think you'll understand the situation better if you see it yourself. Okay, go ahead. It seems like she's getting worse and worse after I talk to her. I can't believe this is happening. I thought the same thing. I asked my brother about the truth behind his disappearance, and he said it was because she was a wife beater. Six months after that, my dad divorced her, and he said that the wife bullying must have had some influence on that. The reason my brother didn't tell me the details is because he was hoping she would get better. He said he was just trying to see how things would go. I see. And now she's doing it all over again. And I can't even talk her out of it. Anyway, I can't allow her to do this to you until the babies are born. No sign of her finding out where you live, right? Maybe not. But there's no guarantee that she won't. I'm sorry for troubling you. No, it's my mother's fault for doing horrible things to you. My parents are going to try to talk to her to leave me alone, at least until I have the babies. Can you think about what to do after that? Of course I will. And of course I'll think about it too. We can discuss it together. Okay. You know, she might try to text you again without even considering your pregnancy. So there's only one thing to do. I'll probably ask for help from you and your parents. Would that be okay? Of course. Let me know any time. I'm just reporting this to you. Late last night, Lucy finished giving birth. It was hard on her because of the premature birth, but she gave birth to healthy boys. 
At least Lucy is healthy and all. I'm so glad. Oh my gosh, congratulations! You know what? Please don't even think about asking her to do some chores for you, okay? Okay, okay. I guess it's time for me to go. I heard you gave birth. But it was yesterday. So what's the big deal? You've already given birth, so you should be able to do all the housework. Don't think about slacking off all the time. Come home as quick as possible. You've given birth before too, right? Huh? You finally replied. But what's with that rude question? Because it sounds like you don't know that right after the baby's born, you still need to rest. Or that you have to spend all day raising a baby. Have you forgotten about that? I don't need you to tell me that. Just get here right now. Okay, I understand. All right, I'll be waiting. Patrick, I got a text from Maya again. How did it go? Are you okay? To be honest, I'm sorry, but no. She knows I just had twin babies last night. Yeah, so? And yet she told me not to skip any chores and come home as quick as possible. That's terrible. And she seems pretty upset. She's been texting me a lot and her messages don't make any sense. What kind of things is she saying? She says the housework is piling up, that she hasn't made any progress on the cleaning. I think she's in panic. That's not all. It's like she's trying to force me to do everything she can do herself. And she knows I just gave birth to twins, but she doesn't seem like she even cares about it. I'm so sorry. I'll take care of the rest. Thank you, Patrick. But what's going to happen now? Don't worry about it. You just rest your body and concentrate on taking care of the twins. Yeah, thanks. I'm counting on you. Hey, Lucy. The doorbell rang, so I thought you came home. But what in the world is this? Your son came to your home, didn't he? With his own relatives and my relatives? A total of 20 people in all. I told you to come back and not Patrick. And besides, I can't let 20 people start doing the house chores. That's just too many. You've been leaving things undone for a long time. I'm sure it's several times more efficient than just me doing it. That might be true, but this is crazy. I'm sorry. I haven't fully recovered yet, so I should rest now. Hey! Wait a minute. You better do something about it. At least let your relatives go home. I tried to tell Patrick, but he just kept smiling and didn't do anything. Patrick, what the hell are you doing? I thought the 20 people had come over to do housework. But I can't believe they were actually making me move. Is it about time you've already gotten off the plane and arrived at the new place by now, right? Even if it's close to my relative's house, it's still so far away in the countryside, deep in the mountains. With so few people there, it might be difficult to make friends. What in the world is going on here? Mom, do you still don't understand why you are in this situation? What did I do? I think you know what you did. Bullying my wife? Huh? You did it once to my brother's wife. He found out that you were bullying his wife and he broke off the relationship with you, right? You should have been sorry for that. And now you're doing it to Lucy. Excuse me? What are you saying? It's only natural for a wife to obey her husband's mother, right? I was just trying to educate her, to get her to do my chores. This is in no way wife bullying. 
I see. If you're still like that, I'll have to go the same way as my brother. What? I've decided to move out and apply for a transfer as soon as I get back home. Oh, you moved out too? Yes, I did. And I'll be taking Lucy's last name in the near future. So I'm breaking off the relationship with you too. Patrick, wait a minute! Lucy, I'm really sorry. What's wrong, Maya? I'm so sorry I said those terrible things to you. I see. I apologize for everything I've done. Please forgive me. After all this, no matter what you say, it won't change my mind anymore. But please, I need you to do something. I can't live like this. It's no longer my problem, so please take care of yourself. Please, you have to help me. I have my hands full raising twins right now. I don't have time to worry about you. Don't be so cold, please. I have nothing more to say to you, so please excuse me. Lucy, wait a minute! After that, Maya had to live in the countryside. She has never been able to get along with the people around her and has been living in isolation. She always looked down on others and had an arrogant attitude. She has never been able to fit in with a warm community in the countryside. As a result, she spends her days alone and lonely. As for our family, we are living a peaceful life with Patrick and our twin sons. He has settled into his new job and is doing a great job of balancing work and family life. The twins are growing up fast, and every day is full of surprises and joy. In addition, Patrick and his brother are meeting sometimes, and our family bond is growing stronger. We see him and his wife from time to time and they have welcomed us warmly. It is truly a blessing to see each other's children playing together.